What is up guys, now before I get underway in this video, um, I do want to apologise first because I've got the mother of all colds right now, I'm literally flued up to the head, I'm going to be sniffing, sneezing everything in this video, so do forgive me for that, um, but anyway, I wanted to talk, I, I wanted to do a video but I, I didn't really have any idea of what to talk about, but um, I just thought I'd do a sort of next gen video, I've probably done this before in a previous video, but I want to kind of talk about where I stand with next gen, what consoles I'm getting and all that sort of thing. All of you know I'm going to be getting a PS4 and I've got that pre-ordered for day one. Um, but talking about the other consoles and the handheld consoles and all that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, let's get underway. So of course I'll talk about the PS4 first. Um, if you didn't know already, I've got the console pre-ordered for day one, launch day I'm going to be getting it. Um, along with three games which are probably going to be Killzone Shadowfall, FIFA 14 and Assassin's Creed 4. Um, can't wait for those games, they're going to be incredible. Um, I, in the video I previously did do, I did say that I couldn't decide between Watch Dogs and um, Killzone Shadowfall as my as, as one game to get, but I have decided on Killzone because I do believe it's more of a true next-gen game, whereas um, Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs, FIFA, they're all current-gen as well, so they're not going to be true, true next-gen games, whereas Killzone, of course, is an exclusive PS4 truly next gen game which the majority uh, the majority of the game runs in 60 frames per second as well it's it's a new experience it's a new thing to experience on a next gen console which is why I want to um, grab that game so I fully decided on that I do have to pre-order those games so like I said I've got the, the console pre-ordered but I don't have any games pre-ordered so I'm gonna have to do that because no doubt those are gonna be selling out because they're such popular games um, um, so yeah, that's that's going to happen. Um, on to the Vita. So sticking with Sony, I do want to get a Vita. I want this. Um, I've got. I wanted one for ages and ages, but now that we've seen all the features that the Vita can do with the PS4, it's a, a kind of necessity for me now. I really want that. The fact that you can continue playing any PS4 game, or well, I think it's any PS4 game. I might be wrong there. On your Vita. So say if someone wants to watch TV or say if I don't want to sit here in my room I want to sit downstairs uh, with the family and that I can still play so I can continue Assassin's Creed I can continue Watch Dogs, Killzone, FIFA I can play that all on my handheld Vita console which is going to be great um, so I really look forward to that feature I was really impressed when they did the live demo with Assassin's Creed um, so yeah that is my main kind of feature that I want a Vita for is that remote play it looks awesome but also there are some st games on that that I still want to play that came out many years ago the Uncharted Golden Abyss Killzone came out and um, there was an Assassin's Creed came out as well which I do believe is coming to PSN for PlayStation 3 um, but yeah so I definitely want to get a Vita to kind of catch up on the games I've missed and but ultimately I want it for the relationship it has with the PS4 so I can have that big ultimate Sony experience um, so yeah that's the Vita I've got a 3DS and I know we'll continue to keep that I'm happy with my 3DS I, to be honest, I haven't played it for many, many months. It's quite dusty at the moment. Um, the last game I completed on it was Luigi's Mansion 2 uh, quite a few months ago now. So I want a new game for it. Of course, the new uh, Pokemon came out this week, uh, but I'm not going to be getting that. I'm not really too into the Pokemon games anymore, but I know it's a big, huge release for the 3DS. So the 3DS still has life. It's, um, it's still going strong, um, and I'm happy to support it. I'm going to be looking uh, to the future games. I, I know they're bringing out the Super Smash Brothers on the they're doing a DS version as well as the Wii U version so yeah I might look into getting those as well but yeah happy with my 3DS. Um, Wii U. I want a Wii U and I want it mainly at the moment I think the only thing I want it for is Wind Waker HD at the moment but I can wait I can wait for that because I've experienced it I'm more hyped for the PS4 um, and everything like that and I don't want to pay that money just for one game so I believe there will be another price drop for the Wii U. Once the PS4 and Xbox One's out, the Wii U will struggle. There's no no denying that the Wii U is going to struggle. Um, so I believe there'll be another price drop. So I'm going to wait till another price drop comes and then get my Wii U in time for like Mario Kart, Super Smash, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, the new Mario game comes out before Christmas, I think, as well. And also I'll get to play the new Zelda as well. And for future Zelda titles as well. Because, to be honest, I think the reason I get Nintendo consoles now is for Zelda. That's my main game for Nintendo now. Um, of course, I play the Mario games, but who doesn't? Everyone loves a bit of Mario Kart, Super Smash Brothers. But true, hardcore, single-player games, 
they're quite rare on Nintendo consoles now so I think Zelda is my main port of call when it comes to Nintendo so um, I will get a Wii U in the near not too distant future may, hopefully early next year um, depending on how much fun I'm having with my PS4 and stuff um, and of course onto the Xbox One I've never owned an Xbox co ne I can't speak at the moment I'm telling you this cold is filling me right up um, I've never owned an Xbox console um, I've played them all my brother used to have the original one um, and I've played many friends on um, the 360 and everything a few of my friends have had one um, so I've got nothing against it really I, I've done a few videos in the past I'm like, ranting about kind of what Microsoft do they're really money grabbing and all that but to be honest I don't really get the console war you choose your console you want you stick with it that's all I care about I've chosen Sony I prefer the PS4 I prefer what it offers me I'm happy with that um, but there's no denying that I, I am a little bit jealous of the couple of games that I want to play on Xbox One I'm, I don't plan to get an Xbox One just to say it now I don't plan to get one at all um, purely because I'm happy with what Sony offer me but I do wish that I could play Dead Rising 3 um, I don't know why because I don't have one or two and I haven't really played them either but I like the look of the third one um, and I, I do believe that Xbox are going to have a better year a better run with the Xbox One than they did with the 360 in terms of games I think there'll be a bit more kind of serious new IPs and all that coming out for the Xbox One than there were with the Xbox 360 um, just so it can compete with the amount of games that Sony bring out for the PS4 um, but yeah I've got nothing against Xbox One um, at all so I'm not some hardcore Sony fanboy I just choose to be a Sony buyer because I like what Sony offer me more for the PS4 um, but yeah I, I can't wait for next gen to begin it's only next month that's crazy to think the next the next generation of consoles begins next month um, luckily in America a lot of you guys are going to be getting it before me here in Europe um, in the UK so we're going to have to wait till the end of November I think it's 29th of November for the UK but yeah day one I'm getting that got my game sorted I've got the money all sorted it's just there I'm ready for it I'm waiting for it and I'm just kind of bowing out with my PS3 at the moment I'm still playing through GTA 5 I'm going to be getting Beyond Two Souls and I think my very last PS3 game is going to be Batman Arkham Origins um, and then that's it the PS3 I think if I send them off it's going to be a little bit emotional unplugging that PS3 and plugging that PS4 in um, but who knows who knows I'm still keeping the PS3 of course because of the great games but um, yeah this was just a quick video I wanted to do talking about next gen well I say quick video it's probably quite a long video now um, but yeah guys leave your comments down below on what consoles and everything you're getting and what you're looking forward to I look forward to reading through those um, and yeah thank you for watching my video um, again sorry for the bunged up snotty sneezy Jordan today um, yeah thank you for watching guys and I will see you on my next